Let's say that you want Excel to color cells based on values, like in this example worksheet in column B. This is called conditional formatting, and we're going to go through a very basic way of how to do this in column E. To do this, make sure you're on the Home tab at the top of the worksheet. Next, left-click and hold on the first cell you want to be part of the formatting. In this example, cell E2. Then drag down over the last cell, cell E18, and release a click and hold so all of the cells are highlighted. From here, go up to the Styles section near the top of the worksheet and left-click on the Conditional Formatting icon. A drop-down box will appear with some options. If you hover over the first option, Highlight Cells Rules, a side box appears. From here, you can apply formatting based on greater than or less than, equals, between two values, cells that have text or dates, or even duplicate values. For this example, we want to color the cells of employees that have sold more than $625 in gift cards. So I'm going to go down and left click on greater than, and another box will appear. In this box, for the first option, I'm going to type in 625. And for the second option, I'm going to left click on the down arrow for some more options. And then I'm going to left click on green fill with dark green text. And then I'll left click on OK. And as you see, we now have three cells that are colored in that are based on values. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time. Ah. And out of here.